a male in his 70s has a chest x-ray. What's the diagnosis? Let's go through the case. It can be daunting when there is a lot going on on a chest x-ray, but it helps to be systematic and then gradually piece it apart. Firstly, we can see these irregular opacities within both lungs. These have the appearance of holly leaves and are likely to represent calcified pleural plaques. Pleural plaques are not usually harmful on their own, but their presence signifies previous exposure to asbestos. Asbestos has several manifestations within the lungs. As well as calcified pleural plaques, it can cause benign pleural effusions, benign pleural thickening, as well as lung fibrosis and primary pleural malignancy, i.e. mesothelioma. So once we see the pleural plaques, it's important to outline the lung peripheries looking for a pleural abnormality. We can see there is blunting of both costophrenic angles, suggesting bilateral small pleural effusions. However, don't stop there. Have a look at the mediastinum. On this normal case, we can see there should be a concavity between the aortic knuckle and palmary trunk, known as the AP window. In our case, we have lost this, suggesting there could be mediastinal node enlargement. Now look at the right apex. Here we can see normal lung markings, compare with the left, and we can make out an opacity. In addition to previous asbestos exposure, this patient is a smoker, meaning this is suspicious for primary lung cancer. A CT scan confirms nodes at the AP window, as well as calcified pleural plaques. We can also see a left upper lobe mass abutting the mediastinal pleura, accounting for the opacity we could see on the chest x-ray. A PET CT showed the node within the AP window is FDG avid and likely malignant, and also shows a lesion within the left upper lobe is metabolically active. A biopsy confirms a primary lung cancer, with the node presumed to represent malignant spread. The lesson here is even in the face of a busy chest x-ray, if you go through the film systematically, you can get to the diagnosis.